Okay, so this is gonna be my 2019-2020 Premier League predictions are probably wrong. I don't really know much about football. I'm looking at them right here and some of them look very wrong. So uh, before we disclaimer, um, my football knowledge is minimum so I've probably got these wrong. So what we're going to do is go from 20 to 1. It's going to be a very quick episode of just me ram ramming all these positions in with all the teams and they're probably wrong but if they're right, subscribe or just subscribe. Uh, if you guys have any, like, you want to say anything about how I've got them wrong and who you think is going to win the Premier League, put in the comments below. Let's get a discussion going. So, the first team in position 20 that I believe are going to get relegated are Norwich. I don't really have much to say about any of the teams. I, I know a bit about football, but I just I don't want to appear going into a lot of information. I want this to be a quick episode of just brrr, all of them. So, 20th. Norwich, I think that they always come into the Premier League and go back out. They've not bought anyone to be honest. A Pookie, the striker, he's very good, but I think they're going to be relegated. The next people in 19th are Brighton. I don't think they're going to hold on again. They held on last year, but I don't think they're going to they're gonna like stay up. I think I don't know if they've still got Knockhart. I don't really know much about Brighton. I think they did. They, they, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think Brighton are going to stay up. And then in 18th, I've got Southampton. This one could be right, could be wrong. I think it's right because I don't think Southampton are very good either. And I think that they're always clinging on. They either do mid-table or just scraping, staying into the Premier League. So I think this year is going to be the year that they get relegated. In uh, number 17th, we've got Burnley. I just... I think that Sean Dykes has had his time. I think that he's he's been very good at keeping Burnley in the Premier League, but I think that this is it. They're done. Uh, I think they've lost Heaton, or is that? Yeah, I think they, I think they have lost Heaton, their goalkeeper. I don't think they're going to do very well, but we will see. Uh, in 16th, we've got Bournemouth. 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 Um, they can sometimes do very well. I think they finished seventh one year. But now I think they're going to finish 16th and that's, that, that's decided. Um, Newcastle in 15th. I think this one could be wrong. They could actually move up to like maybe 10th or 9th. But I'm putting them in 15th. This one, the next one is a shocker. I'm saying that Sheffield United, newly promoted, are going to be 14th. I think that that one could easily go wrong. Southampton could be 14th and then Sheffield could be uh, where Southampton are in 18th. But I think it might be right. So we'll put it there. Next one, Watford in 13th. I like Watford. I think they're a good team. They've got Dele Ufeo, De Corey. Uh, that's all I know. Um, they've got a good team, but I feel like they're going to 13th is a good position for them. And next, 12th is Crystal Palace. If they keep Zaha, that could be a whole turnaround. It could be, like, they could move up really quickly, maybe into like, the 10th position, maybe 9th. But if they scare a Zaha, then they're screwed. Next in 11th is Leicester. I think that that's a good position for them. Mid table. And they've got good players. They've got Vardy. They've got Vardy. They've got Vardy. And I think they've got Vardy. So they've got Vardy. And I think that Leicester will do it 11th very well. And in 10th, I think that Aston Villa are going to be in 10th. They've spent about 140 million. Triggeris? Tri 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 Triggeris? Oh, I can't say his name. He's a very good signing. He was only 8.4 million or something like that. That may be a lie. I'm pretty sure he was. So I think Aston Villa will come in. 10. The next one is where everyone is going to probably be like, oh, you're talking rubbish. I probably am talking rubbish. But if you want to say that I'm talking rubbish, you can either leave a comment down below that I'm talking rubbish or we're doing a live stream today at 6pm. Or if it is today. Just be be on YouTube at 6pm. I might be doing a live stream. I might not be. And you can speak to us then. Um, so in ninth is Chelsea, <laughs> uh, but I just think that, I think that they've lost Hazard, Hazard was holding them together as a team, they've lost David Luiz, I'm pretty sure they're going to lose him, um, I just feel like, I feel like that, that's them, they're screwed, and they're just going to slowly go downhill, and then they're going to be in ninth. In eighth we've got Everton, they're just, I think that they've got such a good team, um, people always think that they don't have a good team, but they do have a good team, they've, they've got... Walcott, um, Pickford, they've got Pickford, no, I'm joking, they've got a good team, they do have a good team, I, I'm just rubbish with football and this is a, a non-football watch, no I watch football all the time but it's just I don't really understand it, 
So, Chelsea are in ninth. Um, in eighth are Everton, and then on I've messed up. Seventh, and seventh are West Ham. <laughs> Uh, I love West Ham, they're one of my favourite teams in the Premier League. I think that they've got a fantastic team, they've just signed Haller. Haller! Um, he's an amazing player, fantastic. So we've got Haller, we've got Felipe Anderson, um, we've got Yarmolenko who's back from injury, we've got Lazzini, uh, I think we've Mark Noble, the defence, we've got the two young people, Diop and... I think Winston Reid as well. Oh, we've also got uh, Rice as well, Declan Rice. Oh, Zabaleta, I'm naming the whole, the whole team. Moussaka. They've lost Adrian, Adrian, or whatever his name is, goalkeeper, so I'm gutted about that. In sixth, we've got Arsenal. I think that there's going to be a few teams ahead of them. They've, they've, they've signed some good players. Uh, who did they sign? Who did they sign? Who did they sign? Oh, who did they sign? They signed someone good. And I can't remember who it was. Who it was. Um, Tierney. They signed Tierney. Uh, I don't know if he's actually good now, I mean, I think Arsenal will come in 6th, I think they're, they're just, they bottle it. Um, in 5th we've got Tottenham, I think Tottenham will come in 5th, I don't really have much to say about that, I think that they have so much money they don't spend it, and they'll come in 5th. And then 4th, Wolves, yes, ever, ah! Ah, I didn't even know. So, Wolves, uh, everyone will be like, why, why, why are you saying Wolves? Like, that, that's not going to happen. Yes, it will. Wolves will come in fourth. They've got a fantastic team. We've got Ruben Neves, the striker. <laughs> Jota's actually left. I, I, did they, still, they still have Costa. I think he was a good player. I think they'll come in fourth. We've got oh, Martinho as well. The Patricio, the goalkeeper. We've got a well good team with Wolves. Fantastic. In third, we've got Man City. Yep, they're going to come in third. Um, I think that they will they'll bottle it. They've just bought Rodri. I think he's a great player. They've got a great team, but they're going to bottle it. And second, we have... In fact, that's a big deal because it's, if I say second, then you know who's first. So, in second, we've got Manchester United. I think that they're going to be a, a big team this year. They've got Juan Bissaka in right back. He's a great right back. Um, who else do they have? I think they sign other people. I'm rubbish at football. I like playing it. I'm rubbish at playing it. You guys know that. So, Manchester United in second. Decent. And then, in first, we've got Liverpool. And that is my Premier League predictions. I think it's going to be Liverpool to win it. Manchester United to come second. Wolves to come in fourth, which is a big one. And Chelsea will come in ninth. And I'm going to I'm gonna stick by that. I think that's a good set of results. If you guys have anything you want to say to me, even if it's abuse about how bad these results are, uh, pop them in the comments or come in the live stream at 6pm today. We're very excited. So, I hope you you probably didn't enjoy that because it's just me talking a load of rubbish. There's no common sense to it. It's just what I think is going to happen. Uh, I want to do the, the, what's that called, when you review it at the end of the season. I think that'd be very funny. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll put a lot more information in because maybe by then I'll be a lot smarter in the football aspect. So, I hope you've had a great day guys. Please remember to like and subscribe. Apart from that, have a great day. Peace! Chelsea,